have said anything. Okay. My husband's ex-wife could be back from the dead. I mean, I would rank that as need to know, wouldn't you? Okay, even if that were true, and that's a huge if. Tad and Dixie weren't together when she died. He moved on. What? You haven't been around him lately. He, he can't escape her memory. I mean, even, even if he tried. You know what's crazy? For the last few days, I've been feeling like you're everywhere. Like I could just reach out and touch you, you know? Right around the next corner. Now nothing, you know? Should take a couple of crickets, a horny frog. Wouldn't be too much to ask. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this one out on my own. Go that wasn't too shabby. Dad? Oh, Lord. Okay, what is this? What's happening? Dad. JR saw you. And so did Kathy. Is this how it was with them? I mean, are you a ghost? Tad are in a good place, right? Yes, we are, but... But nothing, nothing. Listen, go on this trip. Have a good time. I'll deal with David and see whatever he's up to. Okay? Kara? I heard you. Good. <laughs> I'll tell Tad I say hi, okay? Okay. And don't forget your sunscreen. Mwah. I think this is where you're supposed to tell me this is all my imagination. And it's not real, but I'm... I'm dreaming. It's me. It's Dixie. Just in time for the show. Perfect timing. Could you please tell Ryan all about Orpheus? Everything I've been able to accomplish? I'd love to. But apparently I don't know the half of it. What is that supposed to mean? Amanda Dillon's mother was brought into PVH today. Burn wounds. Severe? Forget the injuries, David. She insists she's not only seen Dixie Martin, but spent time with her. Wait. Recently. What? Yeah, up at Oak Haven. Dixie Martin's one of the obituaries we found in your office. Did you save her, David? Stash her away like Greenlee? So. Anyone seen Tad? I don't understand. It's not possible. If I let you go, you're gonna disappear. I know it. I'm here. I'm alive. Here we are. I mean, this is, uh... This is, this, I, 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 have, I have no idea what the hell this is. I watched you die. I sat by your bed and I watched you take your last breath. I remember what you said just before you did it. Together. 
forever. Together forever. Together forever. Together forever. <laughs> I don't want to rain on anybody's parade, but I saw you slip away. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. I'm sorry. You were poisoned, Dixie. You died. Yes. And how are you sitting here with me? I don't. No, I was dead. Now I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. <laughs> I, uh... I should have like a million questions and I I, 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 I can't think of one. I'm so amazed you're here that it's, that it's you. But this is, uh, this is, this is beyond wild, Dix. I wish I could explain. I was at Oak Haven. Oak Haven? When? I remember that. No, I mean, when? Recently, I was, I was at Oak Haven. I, I, I went there because of Opal and... I was right. You were there. Dixie, why would you be at Oak Haven? You don't remember? Do you remember where you were before? David. Dixie, back among the living. Now oh, that would be nice. I was in love with her. Did you know that, Dr. Castillo? Would have done anything for her. For her, to her. It's just semantics, really, isn't it, Dave? He's right. I did go to some extremes out of love for an incredible woman. But you never got that love back. That must have hurt, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, with all my brilliance, I guess you can consider that my Achilles heel. Falling for women who can't return my affections. Sorry, when did this become a, a therapy session? I asked you a question I wanted to answer. You see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Why I came up with the idea of a truce in the first place. Your great mentor feels like he's being ganged up on. Well, all I'm interested is the truth, Dr. H. Mm. All right, you know what? Happy sleuthing, gentlemen. Uh, I have more important things to do. Hold them. <clears throat> you think you're doing you promised me the truth i'm just taking you at your word uh chad uh, he was here he must go now maybe he's helping jesse track down the oak haven runaways well that could be mm. janet dylan was brought in after the fire and um she said the most interesting thing well, that doesn't surprise me. No. <laughs> What's that old cuckoo head been waxing <laughs> on about now? Oh. She said Dixie's alive. That's hogwash. I was at Oak Haven yesterday. I saw plenty of Janet and not hide nor hair of Dixie. No, that poor soul. She is dead and gone. So this is how you repay me, huh? 
making you the doctor you are today. Hey, bingo. Oh, God, would you just give me that, please? Yeah, 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 just a second. What the hell are you even looking for? Evidence. You were talking with Greenlee. All right, one last time for the thick-headed. I don't have a clue as to where she is. Yeah, either that or maybe you just covered your tracks. You can let him go. But if I find out, you know where Greenlee is. All right, you know what? Save the threats. You two numbskulls don't even have a clue as to what you're messing with. People's lives. Andy Hubbard's eyesight is at stake. So the next time you clowns want to play Batman and Robin, you might be wise to remember that. Hayward? <laughs> that son of a bitch had you the entire time? Dad. I'll kill him. Dad. No, I'll kill him. You know I will, Dixie. I can do it. You can't get away with this. Not again. Dad. All right? I'm sick of him playing God. Dad. Dixie? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, David. Okay. Okay. Come now. Calm down. It's so hard. Take a deep breath. Just, just take a deep breath. You gotta remember. Come here, come here, come here. You gotta remember your heart, honey. It's all right. It's all right. I got you. So, you finished uh, packing for your trip? I haven't, actually. I. Oh man, I... is the mall open? The... The no, mall? I... Are you I... kidding me? You I got should... a ferry to catch. Now, look, no, I'll, I'll go raid my closet. Oh, no. No, come no, no, on. No, no, I got no, a no. lot of cute tops and dresses and stuff. I'll just bring you down a bunch of choices. Oh, thank you. No, please don't do that. It's very nice of you. It's just... But it's a little weird because I'm Tad's ex-wife. <sighs> Kara, listen to me. Just, just because it wasn't in the cards for Tad and me, it doesn't mean I don't want him to be happy. And you make him happy. I hope so. I know so. <laughs> <laughs>